What is going on everyone? Thank you for joining me on today's video. How you all doing? How you all doing? Hope you're all doing very well. So today, I'm just winging it. Winging it today. Oh, we've got lots to do. And there's a few parts. There is another part on its way. I am servicing the car today. Um, it's been about 6,000 plus, I think, miles. So it's now needed. Diesels, you can just run them forever. Or you can need an oil change, but... Yeah, uh, normally ST, I normally used to do three to four thousand miles on the diesel. If you ST, I'm just going to do six and a half thousand miles and then maybe seven thousand miles and change the oil. So it's due as oil change. So I went and got some more of this because it is recommended for Fords and diesels. New oil filter, and that is it. That is it for the service because it's got. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's simple. Uh, I'm also going to start working on the suspension now. So I bought myself some new drop links, uh, these look nicer and much better condition than the ones I've got in the car so um, I do have new wishbones coming and polyurethane bushes as well are coming and then we're going to do wishbones later on but they've not arrived yet so I'm just going to get on to the drop links. We've also got this rear wiper blank, now I did put a post up the other day on Instagram, Instagram is down below. Uh, a bit of a post up on there to vote yes or no and it's very very close to no a lot of people said no even I was debating no and then it was like 12 and 10 12 said yes 12 and 10 said no that so came very very close I just ended up doing it it's cheap and they and then that day as well they gave me a discount so I will leave a link if anyone wants this sort of thing down below uh, they're cheap enough to buy on eBay it's only a fiver so I thought I'd just do it, and it comes with silicone as well. So I thought I'd stuff it. We'll try it. You know, because I do have the Mark 7 rear wiper on here. Now, I'm debating whether or not to do it. I could always put it back if I don't like it. But yeah, that's what we've got going on at the moment. Now, I have got another parcel coming. I don't know if it's going to be in this video. It might be in a separate video, because I do want to do it as a separate video. All this might be in a separate video. So today we're going to do an oil change. I know you've seen me do it before. I'm not going to bore you and do it all again and show you, but I'm just going to quickly wing through it. Then I'm going to get onto the drop links. And my AirTech downpipe is coming. That's right. The AirTech downpipe is on its way. So now I can get rid of this heat shielding. It will go back off. It might not go back. I don't know, but it will fit. Get rid of that big cat there. And that's it. Straight through exhaust then. There's no boxes. That's the only thing that's restricting it. So the AirTech downpipe is on its way. There's a guy, a subscriber, who's coming 80 odd miles to mine to drop it off and to help me install it. Now that, I know you'd be watching this video mate, so thank you very much. Um, I will make the video with you when you get here and give your name a shout out and your Instagram and everything like that. I'm not gonna do it in this video, it'd be on a separate video. But yes, he's coming all this way to help me and to bring me the downpipe that he doesn't want anymore because I don't think he owns a Fiesta anymore, so he had it lying around, so that's awesome. But anyway, you need to take off the air box, because you need to get the oil filter housing, which is here, and then you're going to need to get an oil drain um, catcher thingy, goes under the car, catches the oil, I can't remember. Okay then guys, so if you remember last time, here's a 22, that nut up there. Oh, I've got one here, it's a big socket. And, uh, So I've got my Michael Jackson gloves on. Yeah, I've already driven the car so it's nice and warm. So uh yeah. The oil should be nice and sloshy. Yep, yeah, it's still nice and warm. Damn, I've got oil on me Michael Jackson gloves. Alright, I'm going to let this drain for a bit. And we'll get back to you in a minute. Yeah, um, I don't see any metal part particles coming out of there, so that's all good. And, uh... It stinks. Dirty oil. Yes. See me. Right, why that's draining under there? Work my way up here, undo the oil filler 
Um, oh, uh, sorry, cap. Up here. Um, I can't remember what it was now. Oh, there's a big socket as well. But, uh, let me have a look. Yikes, that's a big boy. It's a 27 millimeter. Jeez. Okay. So, I need to get the other oil pan. This one. Could come out of it. Alright. Because I did it last time. I know I put oil on it, you see, on the sealed, so that comes off nice and easy. Stuff. Very nice. There you go, got it out, it's all good in there as well. There's no metal filings or anything in there, so that's all good. Nice. Wait for it to drain because I can see it's going down. And I'll give that a wipe out. Put a new filter in. Just remember when you put your new filter in, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. There. On that filter, you see it's got like a little nipple thing, it sticks up there. Well, inside the housing, the filter's going to sit in there. That's going to sit in like a little hole, which is down in there somewhere. When I've cleaned it out, and you can see it, then just put the filter in and then put the casing on top with the new rubber seal, and then uh, you should be good. Just remember, that's got to sit in a specific position, basically. All right, cool. Okay, finally, all put back together. New oil filters in, drain the oil. Just about to fill it up with new oil. Didn't take too long, about half an hour. Now I just need to put new oil in here. And then she's good for another 6,000 miles. Remember rightly, I think it takes 3.8 liters of oil. Okay. Something around about that, but just keep an eye on your dipstick as you're doing it. See you guys in a bit. All right then guys, so we just filled up the oil, just ran it for a bit, Get make sure you know. Uh, yeah, just keep an eye on it. Top it up, it needs to be topped up again. I'm gonna end the video here because we just had the downpipe arrived. So I'm gonna move on to that now. We're gonna do the suspension. I'm gonna put it all in different videos. So this was just basically an oil change. This is basically for myself. This is like um, history for the car. So I can look back on it. And uh, yeah, this is history just for myself, and it's a 94,459, so that's the history there. And also, if I have a sale of car, I can just tell the person to come back and check it out on here when the oil changes were done. All this is going to be in a separate video, all right. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Remember, if you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and the Facebook page. All links are down below. I have linked a few items in today's video down below as well, if you fancy that. But yeah, you're going to see this in another video, and then you're going to see that in another video. Um, I'm going to get straight on with the downpipe now. The guy is here. He's going to give us a hand. And um, yeah, we're going to get on and do that. Um, and then I'm going to check the oil again in a minute. But yeah, quick video today. I know it's like, what what was this video? It's just a servicing video? Oil change? But whoa. I know. It was supposed to be a lot of stuff combined into here, including suspension. But... I'm thinking about separating it now just to make the videos more interesting. Just in case someone does go out there looking for, I don't know, an oil change, and there it is. And then they want to look for something else. Suspension drop links, there it is. It's separate videos, it just makes it easier for people to find things like that. Because if it's all combined into one video, I was thinking, you know, it could become a bit messy. But anyway, I'll see you guys later on. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to crack on this downpipe now. And uh, yeah. 
see you guys in that video.